Hey, thanks for doing the double with us today. We are going through a well-known Psalm, Psalm 139. Here we go. Well, I'm looking forward to going through Psalm 139 with you. So grab your Bibles. Here's mine and open them right up to Psalm 139. Whoops. And let's get into it. Psalm 139 is another psalm written by King David. And what he's doing is completely opening up his life to a very deep level, his heart, his character, his behavior, his speech to God and allowing God to examine him. Even though life is hard, King David wants to grow in his wisdom, become more like God and not be counted in the ways of the wicked. He is also recognizing that God is so big. He is everywhere and he knows everything. He is omniscient. So let's give it a read. Oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night. But even in darkness, I cannot hide from you. To you, the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous, how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. O oh God, if only you would destroy the wicked. Get out of my life, you murderers. They blaspheme you. Your enemies misuse your name. O oh Lord, shouldn't I hate those who hate you? Shouldn't I despise those who oppose you? Yes, I hate them with total hatred, for your enemies are my enemies. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. Point out anything in me that offends you and lead me along the path of everlasting life. I love this psalm so much. It is such a great expression of just how big God is, how we just can't escape him and he knows everything about us. And I just think that's so beautiful. But where is our vital verse? Our vital verse is the big idea. It's the main message the writer wants us to capture. So where do we find it? Yep, in verse one. Oh Lord, you have examined my heart and you know everything about me. He is just saying that again and again and again. You know it all, you see it all, you are everywhere. You know everything. And this is exactly the same for us as it was for King David. God is still the same and our life, whether we want it to be or not, is on display to God. So the sub skill that I want to mention today is one called find the solution to the problem. Now this Psalm has a bit of a weird flow. One minute he's like praising God because God's amazing and big and knows everything and the next minute he's talking about like murderers and wicked people and it kind of just comes out of nowhere. So here is where we find our problem. He's feeling these different feelings like hate and despising others and he's not really sure if he should be feeling them 
they're not nice feelings to feel. And in this scripture, he's kind of asking God, like, shouldn't I hate those who hate you? Shouldn't I despise those who oppose you? By finding the solution to the problems that the writers of the Bible faced, we can actually find solution to our own problems as well. We can learn from so many different people around us, including the people in the Bible and the challenges that they went through as well. And the solution that I recognize right here in the midst of what David is feeling is that he is allowing God to examine how he's feeling. His emotions are on display and he's processing these things before God and with God and allowing God to come and correct him if he's wrong. Search my heart, clean me up, point out anything that offends you. And I think we can learn something from David right here. David is trying to be wise about this. He's trying to have some wisdom in the way that he's dealing with his emotions. And that leads us straight into our prayer time, asking God for wisdom. We too can ask God for wisdom. There are so many different circumstances in our life that we need God's wisdom for. I need God's wisdom to be a good friend, a good leader, a good wife, a good mother, a good sister, daughter. I need God's wisdom to battle through emotions and stay pure. You name it, you probably need God's wisdom for it. To be honest, I could try and figure out this life on my own and battle through it by myself, but why would I want to when I have access to the wisdom that God gives me? Through what Jesus Christ did on that cross, I have access to so much from God and that includes wisdom. You don't have to wait until you reach like level 99 Christianity to get gain access to these things. You have access right now. And so let's pray and ask God for some. God, we come before you today and we thank you that you are all knowing and Lord, that you help us in the challenges of our lives. And God, I ask that whatever each of us are facing today, wherever we are, whatever we're doing, Lord, that we would have your wisdom that comes from heaven. Lord, that we would approach the different situations and relationships and emotions that we're battling with in our life with your wisdom. And God, I ask that for myself and that for each person watching this, Lord, that you would grant us your wisdom. Thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, that we have access to so many of these gifts. And Lord, I just pray that we would use that, we would use that access today and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for joining us for our Psalm series. We have read through 10 Psalms together. But there is still 140 more in the book of Psalms. So tomorrow we're going to cover all 140 in one video. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, guys, we don't want this to stop here. Go and do your daily double every day. Enjoy God's presence, enjoy his word and go deeper in your prayer life. That's right, yeah. Don't let it stop. Keep it flowing. But just something a little bit special that you might want to write down and save with you. Mars Bar 50. Keep that and... Here we go. Read, pray, pray every, every day. day.